perspective when you come close to death. I'm Yvette Young, and this is my breakthrough story. The theme of the tour is rebirth. For a while, I was kind of in a funk, and I figure it's like starting fresh. I feel like sometimes after pain and suffering comes hopefully peace, <laughs> but also knowledge, experience, and definitely feel like kind of reborn in some ways with like new wisdom and a new perspective. I think uh, music and art are amazing creative outlets, but I think that can extend beyond that. Just self-expression, the freedom, is something that is so liberating and cool. It can help someone feel better about themselves, you know? It's like a huge confidence building thing. When making creative decisions, a lot of times maybe you feel like you have to justify what you're doing, but really the only justification anyone needs for making what they want is that they want to do it and it excites them. I was raised in a classical music household. I would say that my relationship with music when I was young was more so me just doing it for the sake of appeasing other people. I think at the time I really wanted to play basketball. That was what I was really into, just being a basketball jock. I feel like I was definitely put in a really high pressure environment. Really intense for a kid to you know, go to school and then have to practice four hours of piano a day and then do competitions and all of that. And I don't really feel like I had much time to really be a kid. Like I grew up playing a lot of Bach, but I always like wanted to put dynamic expression into it. I wasn't allowed. Uh, I remember I always wanted to like go off and play play my own take on a passage or something, and my conductor wasn't very happy about that. And I feel like I didn't really start to enjoy music and have passion for it until I got to do it on my own terms. When I was around 16, I ended up developing an eating disorder. My friend actually noticed that I was looking a little sick and she told on me that I was like throwing away my lunch every day. I ended up living at the hospital for on and off for four years. They put me on a heart rate monitor. At night, I was sporadically just flatlining. Nobody likes being in the hospital, but for me it felt a little bit like a place of refuge. Because all of a sudden, I went from being in this high pressure environment where I'm just like, go, 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 achieve. I went from that to just being in a bed. I think picking up an instrument on my own terms and teaching myself guitar was crucial to me recovering. If I were to reduce it to a, one dramatic sentence, it would be guitar saved my life. I always find lyric writing to be the hardest part of songwriting. Like, I can write melodies for days, but for some reason once words are assigned to it, it just becomes really daunting to me, so. Music is medicine. For me, it really transformed my relationship to myself and made me feel powerful. I feel like I ended up shifting my mindset from feeling like I just wanted to self-destruct to feeling like, wow, I actually do have control. That's when I feel like the healing really began. associated music with just like a lot of pressure and I remember once that pressure was taken away and I was able to kind of slowly 
discover guitar, teach myself guitar, start writing music on guitar, that's when I discovered like, okay, I actually love music. It's such a valuable mode of self-expression. Coming at guitar from such an experimental, sort of playful attitude, that was what was liberating about it. I've gained something so much more valuable than a trophy or accolades or validation. It's kind of just how I communicate and how I live and breathe now. I realized that it actually made me feel like I had a voice for once. Do you have anything to say? <laughs> I agree. So I have essentially at my house the avian equivalent of Noah's Ark. And I feel like I've just always had this really strong connection with birds. I think because I've just grown up around them, I just feel this nostalgic connection to them. In addition to that, just aesthetically, I think they are just beautiful and I like their freedom. It's so cool that they can just fly around. I was and still am not a natural born performer. For me, it's actually essential that I don't really think about how many people are in the room. Um, and I just think about the place I was when I wrote the piece or the song. I feel like I've had a successful show when someone is able to feel that place that I was imagining in my head. That's the beautiful thing about any kind of show is you can be a stranger going by yourself and you know that you already have friends at the show because everyone has one thing in common and that's their love for music. I have a ton of tattoos, doesn't make me a criminal. I just really like art. I think it's really exciting getting to choose how you present yourself. Like people kind of get an impression of who you are with their eyes first. And it's a cool way to support my friends and support art in itself to keep the community growing, to keep art flourishing. To exist in the world but not live in it, for me that means not taking the safest path, but just having faith that this is the road that I feel like I should take. I am existing, but for me, I don't think I would be living if I wasn't following what felt authentic to me, if I wasn't creating things that felt meaningful to me. I'm living, and for me, living is doing stuff that I love that is meaningful to me. Living, for me, is living and breathing art and music.